What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on November 18th, 2019. As usual, I'm starting off here with the focus on what is available now. The latest Target exclusives are available. That does include the Futura Darth Vader. Um, and these exclusives, I believe, most of them are still available online. And you can check for them in-store as well. With Hot Topic, of course, they have available the Mount Lady. They have Zeminger the over 9,000 Vegeta, and the latest Jack Skellington exclusive. Now with Barnes & Noble, they have the first to market Ultraman figure, so that does mean that right now they're just with Barnes & Noble, but these will become more widely available soon. With Shop Disney, you can get the Mat Matterhorn bobsled with the Abominable Snowman, and uh, of course that one is a little bit pricey there along with the shipping as well. You gotta keep that in mind. And as far as pricing and shipping together that's actually why i did not order the date night mic from go calendars that is available but yeah along with the price and the shipping together it just added up to be a little bit too pricey for my taste and i know that's been an issue that some collectors have been seeing but you know it just comes down to whether or not you personally think that it is worth it now with fye they do have of course the glow in the dark alien from toy story along with the t-shirt available with Barnes Noble, they have um, Alan Parrish with the knife from the original Jumanji and also the metallic All Might. That's another one I know a lot of people have been waiting on. With Blizzard's gear store, they have that exclusive Lucio figure, which I believe is still listed. Um, if it's not listed, maybe it will get a restock, but you can check for that if you are interested. And with Box Lunch, they have the Dark Aqua figure from Kingdom Hearts, and this is Dark Aqua with the Keyblade. And we're not done. We're still focusing on figures that are available now. Also with Shop Disney, they do have the Disney Skyliner with Mickey Mouse available. With Walmart, they have their exclusive Knight of Ren. I believe this is the one with the arm cannon that's available. And some GameStop locations, they do have the Paka Paka machines. That does include the Soda Cats figure, which, you know, those seem to be the most popular ones. And I'm hoping that I could find one of those machines in my area. I definitely want to open up some of those figures. And I know a lot of people have been waiting on the um, Avengers Endgame figures that you see pictured here. Those are starting to hit stores. I don't believe I've seen many of them online, but uh, yeah, start being on the lookout for those if you are interested in them. Now with the Funko Shop, a lot is going on since the last Funko News video that I did. And I'm going to be running through, you know, all the, all the figures that are available. So of course they have here the Minotaur, which is part of their Mist line. Um, that one is still available. They have their exclusive Knight of Ren with the Scythe. Okay, again, still available right now. Not much has been really selling out on the Funko Shop. And I do think that is because things are being produced in a higher number. You also see here as part of Peppermint Lane, they have Alice Cranberry with the Crescent Moon Diner. Now, one item that did sell out, and I thought it was very cool that Funko did this, they actually had a t-shirt that they released on Veterans Day, and apparently the proceeds actually do go to help out veterans. So that t-shirt actually did sell out. I think it has a really nice design to it as well. Unfortunately, I did not catch it in time. Would have been nice to have that, but again, I think it's very cool on Funko's part to have done that. And still focusing on the Funko Shop, they have the Gold Colonel Sanders with the Pop T available. And then the most rele um, recent release from the time of this recording is the 10-inch Coca-Cola Polar Bear, which, like some other people, I thought that might potentially show up as part of the 12 Days of Christmas, but nope, that's available now. So who knows, with the 12 Days of Christmas, maybe they will do a flock Coca-Cola Polar Bear. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. Moving on here to some random bits of information. Now, of course, Black Friday is fast approaching, and along with that, stores are going to have sales going on, of course, including with Funko Pops. But uh, with FYE, you see they're also going to have the release of their exclusive Astronaut Snoopy. So we finally get a look at that figure that had been rumored for a while. They're also going to have Chucky with scissors, which I'm really looking forward to that one. I think Funko's been doing a great job with the Chucky figures lately. Now, Box Lunch has some exclusives on the way. This does include a 6-inch, apparently glow-in-the-dark, Maleficent as Dragon, which should release as of November 26th. 
They also have a My Hero Academia exclusive on the way, um, which should be on November 30th, a 6 inch Frozen 2 pop as of December 1st, and a Dragon Ball Z pop and tea set available as of December 7th. As far as the other characters are known for these other properties right now, I don't know that information, you know, so just keep your eyes open and hopefully that will be revealed in the near future here. Now the Frozen 2 3 pack is available with Barnes & Noble. Do bear in mind though that is basically just three commons put together but if you have not picked those up yet and you prefer to have them in one box that is available now. Now I did want to point out that Barnes & Noble does have an exclusive Harry Potter box but the only item that's actually exclusive in it is the Buckbeak plush. Other than that I think you get a random pop heads and a random common pop. So. Not the greatest box, to be honest there, unless you're just a huge fan of Buckbeak. Focusing on Target again, they have started their Funko Friday, so they will have a Funko release every Friday, an exclusive for the next couple of weeks. And then they have some other exclusives on the way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and run through these. Available right now is the 10-inch Dio. And then they also have on November 22nd, up, up and coming, the 10-inch Olaf. 10-inch Eevee should be on November 29th. The Silver Felix pop in T that should be December 5th. The very next day, we should see the flocked bullseye. And of course, they've done one previously, but this one will be slightly different. The flocked Hello Kitty, that should be December 13th. And then there should be a glow in the dark Kylo Ren pop in T available as of December 20th. With Entertainment Earth, I've shared this previously that they have this exclusive Captain America, which is designed to look like wood. Um, that one should actually be available as of November 19th. And then Funko is doing another giveaway for a Funkoverse figure. This time they're focusing on Rose Nyland from the Golden Girls. And if you want a chance to win that, then you have to basically go to a store, find some Funkoverse products, take a picture of them, and then post that to Twitter and or Instagram with the hashtag Funkoverse. Now, this decision by Funko, I, I'm not sure if I quite understand it, and you could definitely give your feedback on it. But Walmart is going to have these exclusive 10 inch Deadpool figures for Black Friday. Um, why they're doing five of them at one time is I, I just don't quite understand that. I don't feel like we're like in the midst of a Deadpool fever pitch. So I don't quite understand this. But yeah, let me know if you're interested in any of these or even multiple of these. You know, let me know what you think about these 10 inch Deadpool figures. The Amazon exclusive glow in the dark hologram Rick clone is available for pre-order right now and it actually releases on December 20th. I gotta say, and this is no spoiler really, but I did watch the first episode of Rick and Morty season four. I'm still kind of in shock that all these new Funko Pops are just from that one episode. That's pretty amazing. And if you've seen that episode, you know what I'm talking about. So a lot went on in just that one episode. The next A Day With Pikachu figure is a cool new friend and that should release this month on the Pokemon Center and actually be available with GameStop as of November 20th, so just a couple of days away from the time of this recording. The FYE exclusive Creeper from Jeepers Creeper, that should release on November 22nd. The Star Wars serial tees are available right now with Walmart. They do have displays set up and along with those displays, they do have the latest, um, you know, the gold Star Wars pops. I've actually seen a couple of those in a Walmart. So do be on the lookout for that display. And then there are Castiel Funkos and this is Castiel from Supernatural Funkos on the way. Um, just be on the lookout for those if you are interested. Now with Hot Topic, of course, they always have more exclusives on the way. So um, some of these I've covered previously. I'm just going to run back through them quickly though here. May Hatsume and Holiday Harley Quinn should actually release uh, as of November 21st. I'm kind of curious about that because I have been seeing that Harley Quinn was going to release in December. So time will tell if that actually is a firm release date or not. Jack on the Angel, that movie moment from Nightmare Before Christmas should be available as of November 28th. And then on November 30th, we should see their exclusive Gandalf the White hologram Rick clone and Lee with the Keyblade as well. So these are the upcoming Hot Topic release dates that I know of. Of course, there's more on the way with Hot Topic. Just check the website pretty regularly, especially on Thursdays. FYE has an exclusive metallic Piccolo on the way. No specific release date for it. There's also going to be a metallic variant of red from the Pirates of the Caribbean. And again, it seems like it's going to be a Disney Parks exclusive. In December with Hot Topic, we are going to see a new variant of Krampus. I think he looks pretty cool with that cloak on him. 
and then we're also going to see the hula stitch figure and it seems like they're actually going to do a re-release of hula lilo as well of course so you can get those figures together if you didn't already have hula lilo in the upper right here you see that there is going to be a glow in the dark variant of ragnarok from fortnite and he will come along with a t-shirt and that's going to be a walmart exclusive and then FYE, right now they have available for pre-order the Evangelion Pops, even though it seems like those may not release until June of next year. Now, of course, from the time of this recording, um, you know, Funko Hollywood has opened up. They've had their grand opening. Seems like everything went over really well. Um, I've seen a lot of pictures of the interior of the store. Looks highly impressive. And of course, along with, you know, the opening of this new store, they do have exclusives. You see here that they have Marilyn Monroe. This is the first Marilyn Monroe pop, but I really don't think that it would be the last one. I feel like they have to do one based off of her most famous photograph. And if you know about Marilyn Monroe, then you know what image I'm referring to. You also see here that they have Tony the Tiger rocking the shades there. They have Wonder Woman holding a Funko Hollywood bag. I really like the Chester Cheetah that they have here. I believe that is a flocked figure as well. And he's actually holding the bag of Cheetos there. They have Huckleberry Hound holding the Funko Hollywood bag. I like this Funko, um, this Freddy Funko figure as well, excuse me there, holding the star from the Walk of Fame. That's pretty awesome. They got Big Boy there with the shades on as well. The shades seem to be a pretty popular thing with Funko Hollywood. So um, these are the current exclusives. I don't doubt that they will get more exclusives for Funko Hollywood in the future. Moving along here to some um, official reveals from Funko. So there are Major League Pops on the way. You see that there is a Chase figure there in the mix. They also have the Devil Wears Prada figures on the way. That seems almost like past due, and I don't know how much interest there really would be in those Pops right now. But I mean, you know, who knows? Let me know if you are actually interested in those Pops. And then the Dragon Prince had been rumored. And yes, you see here that there are at least four Dragon Prince Pops on the way. Also, Gumby is on the way. I, I like the look of Gumby. I think he turned out pretty well there. And there are more Pusheen Pops on the way. You see there Pusheen with Pisa and then also Pusheen with a heart. Stephen King was revealed from the day of this recording. And there's going to be a common Stephen King that you see there in the upper left. I think it actually looks pretty true to him. You know, they're definitely recognizable as him. And then they're going to have that Barnes & Noble exclusive, the bloody Barnes & Noble exclusive with him holding the axe. That one's pretty interesting. You also see here that they did reveal Wayne Manor with Alfred on the way, which is pretty awesome that Alfred is finally getting a pop figure. There are some more NBA pops on the way, including Kawhi Leonard, of course, here. You also see, um, I'm not going to run through all the players here, but you see there's another LeBron James pop on the way. We got Anthony Davis there in the mix, so just be on the lookout for these. I know that Michael Jordan fans have been hoping that Funko would do University of North Carolina pops and they are you see here officially revealed and of course there is a Walmart exclusive variant in the mix as well. With WWE the um, latest pops that have been revealed these include The Miz, Mean Gene Okerlund which I think is really awesome that they're doing a pop of him. We have yet another John Cena pop on the way with this whole Thugonomics thing going on. Naomi along with a glow in the dark chase variant of Naomi. And then they also have Kevin Nash with the NWO Chase variant. As far as the exclusives are concerned, Amazon is getting the exclusive The Fiend Bray Wyatt, which you can pre-order right now. And Walmart is going to have an exclusive Hulk Hogan figure there. And it is time for the rumor mill. There's a lot of rumors floating around, so I'll run through these. And of course, you know, in the near future here, we'll see what pans out to be true. So as far as Masters of the Universe is concerned, first of all, I don't know why the rumor is still floating around that Funko doesn't have the license. I think there's plenty of evidence that Funko does still have the license for He-Man and Masters of the Universe. But uh, as far as Pops are concerned, we could see He-Man possibly with his battle axe, a 10 inch Skeletor, Prince Adam, Sorceress, Tongue Lasher, Cyclone, Mosquito, Webstore, he-Man on Battle Cat and also an ECCC exclusive. So, um, you know, like I said, we have to see what out of this pans out to be true. I know that I've actually seen the concept art before of He-Man with Battle Axe, though. So that one to me seems pretty likely. As far as the Flintstones, Flintstones is concerned, excuse me, there's going to be a pop town for the Flintstones. Arthur the Aardvark is getting pops. 
There's also going to be pops based on the Great Mouse Detective. This um, anime, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so forgive me, but Saint Seiya, I think is how you might say it, is getting figures. And then Wallace and Gromit is going to get figures, including Wallace, Gromit, and Shaun the Sheep. As far as Pop Rocks is concerned, we could have Aerosmith Pops on the way. And then with NBA Legends, we could see Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Sean Kemp, Gary Payton, Shaquille O'Neal, and Penny Hardaway. I think that's a pretty amazing lineup, so definitely hope to see those pan out to be true. There could be Pops on the way, at least two based on Star Trek Discovery. And from the 90s Batman movies, we could see the Jack Nicholson Joker, the Danny DeVito Penguin, the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, the Jim Carrey Riddler, the Tommy Lee Jones Two-Face, and the Arnold Schwarzenegger Mr. Freeze. I've been hoping to see all of these as pop figures, so really hoping that this does happen in the near future. As far as Harry Potter is concerned, we could see Harry versus Voldemort, a movie moment. That one has been rumored for a long time now, so you know we'll see what happens with that. We could also see Dumbledore with Baby Harry, Hermione with Feather, and Ron puking slugs with the bucket. Um, I didn't follow Harry Potter, so that's a pretty odd one to me, you know, not knowing the books and knowing the movies like that. Of course, we could see more pops based on killer clowns from outer space. I don't think that's a big surprise, but the characters that we could see include Jumbo, Shorty, and Spike. Now, we're getting into spoiler territory here, so I do want to give this spoiler alert. Um, as far as the things that I'm going to cover, it's going to include the GameStop Black Friday box. If you don't want to see what's going to be in that box, you know, of course, go ahead and tune out of the video. I'm also going to cover what is in the latest Marvel Collector Core box, basically their holiday box. And then I'm also going to cover what is in, I think, the last Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty box, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the last one altogether. So if you don't want to see any of those items for any of those boxes, please tune out of the video right now. Okay, so if you're still with me, that means that you don't mind seeing these items. So with GameStop's Black Friday box, I can't say that I'm really enthused about this because they just did, you know, with GameStop, they had the DC Gamer box. Now they're basically doing that with Marvel characters. So it's going to include Deadpool. And for each of these characters, of course, they will have a chase variant. So they're going to have Deadpool, Miles Morales, and Groot. And I feel like, especially with Groot, it feels a bit redundant because there is a pop of him based off of Infinity War where he has like his little Game Boy thing that he's playing. So, yeah, I'm not really blown away by these. But again, this is the GameStop Black Friday box releasing November 29th. With the latest Collector Core box, again, the focus is on holidays. I really do like the look of these pops, of course. They had Groot again, no big surprise there, but he has a lot of detail to him from what I can see. They also have Thor there, and his hammer is actually wrapped up like a present, which I think is pretty cool. And then along with this box, there is, of course, a t-shirt and the so-called toothpick holders, but adults, we know what they really are. And the theme for the next Collector Core box is going to be on Fantastic Four, which is pretty cool. They could do some really awesome things with that. And then for the final Smuggler's Bounty box, like I said, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is going to be the final Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty box. These are the pops that will be included. Babu Frick, I guess is how you say the name. I'm assuming that's a new character altogether. And then C-3PO, but you notice how he's armed. He has Chewbacca's weapon, which is uh, pretty interesting. I don't know if that's a spoiler type thing or not, but I feel like it doesn't really give away anything so yeah, these are the pops that are going to be available within that box. So that is going to do it for Funko News. Um, as always, thank you all for taking the time to check this out. I hope you got something out of the video. I um, definitely want to thank all of you that have you know, been supporting the series, whether you were with the series for a long time or just recently checking it out. Regardless, I do appreciate that support. Um, you can still drop a like on this video, of course, to support it. Um, you know, you know, comment as well. Of course, let me know what figures you are interested in and share this video if you think it will help out other collectors. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for Funko News. Again, thank you all so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. And you all take care of yourselves.